Certain applications may need to double those wires and we'll go into that right now. Now for this project I'm using 18 gauge wire which with these seal all connectors and terminals would typically be these purple seals that you have to use. In my specific application I actually have to double up these wires inside a connector like so. So what we're going to be using is these 14 to 16 gauge terminals. Now I tried contacting seal all them themselves about doing this but I didn't get a response. But in talking to aircraft spruce tech support uh, they agreed that that was the best route to go for this application. So that's what I'm going to do. If it doesn't work, I'll let you know. Now this also means that because I'm twisting them, I can't just use the 5.5 millimeter spec in the instructions. So I'm going to start out with 10, twist them, and then cut it down. Take the two wires, put them at a right angle together, and then twist both ends. Make sure both ends twist. Now again, make sure you're switching up your terminals between male and female from what you had on the other side. In this case of the blue circuit, I have a male plug, but has the female terminals in it. We're gonna use our male terminals on this side and this female socket. Now because these ends are twisted together and then we're gonna be putting this seal over top, I'm actually gonna take heat shrink that way it's one smooth, consistent surface for the seal to ride on when we go to install it. Should also help seal the wires. A trusty heat gun. Now this serves two purposes. Of course it helps with the seal, but then it also identifies our circuit for when we go to wire this later. Make sure that's good and smooth. Now I also just learned I should have put the seal on before I did the heat shrink, backed it up here, and then brought it up. So that's what we'll do in the next bits. It's like number four on our pliers here. And it should be number five. It looks pretty good. We'll go through the rest of these doubles and then I'll add some solder before we put them in the connector. See how our doubled up leads fit into this connector. We're going to do brown to red and white to black. Red's going into B, brown will be going into B. Hey, that worked out kind of nice. Give that nice click. White into A. Beautiful. So a note, when you combine these, try to have them stacked on top of each other, because when the second piece comes in, it'll bind. And now, when I turned it, then I could snap it closed. Got our latch and our stop. Oh, that's beautiful. Now to do the rest of them and head to the airport. As always, thank you for watching, and if you want to see more videos about owning, working on, and of course, flying small airplanes, please check out our channel page and hit that subscribe button to see more from me at Less Seen Adventures.